Welcome back developers, my name is David and this video I will teach you how to install SQL scripts in your private server. First of all, you're going to need to have the script yourself. The script should contain the SQL file, FX manifest, server Lua, client Lua, and many more scripts. Then go to our panel at panel.airnode.nl, then manage your server, go to settings, launch your SFTP, log in with the password you made for your panel account. Then go into Airnode, Resources, Script, then drag in the script, then go to Console, click on phpMyAdmin, then go back to your panel, Database, then click on this little eye icon, then copy the username and the password. And then click on login then you will be logged in to run the sql script you want to press on the database name so in my case it's s264 underscore qb server like this click on that name and click on sql at the top then you want to go back to your win scp open the script and look for a dot sql file it should contain dot sql open that one up copy all of the code in it and then paste it here and then click on go now it created a new table should be um here um uh, event tokens so it created successfully now we just have to restart the server and i'll be back when i restarted the server here you have loaded in let's test the command so i have a command called collect tokens and we'll add a token to my account then i have a a command redeem tokens and it will give an error that i don't have enough tokens because it's going through the database checking if i have at least 10 tokens to redeem and if i have over 10 tokens i will get money in the bank so let's do this five more four more times now we can check how many tokens we have i'll parse through the database to see how many tokens this character has i have now 10 tokens let's try to redeem these tokens to money and yeah it worked i redeemed it to money and now if i do check tokens I have zero tokens. Really quick, if you wanna drop the event tokens table, you wanna click on QB server SQL, and you wanna run this SQL SQL. Um, so this is the uh, table name, and if you press it, all the data will be erased. You cannot recover it unless you have a backup, and it's gone. It doesn't exist anymore. Thank you guys for watching and have a great day.